Okay guys, welcome back to the garage. So this is my 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500 4x4. Just got this a few days ago. And I'm doing just a bunch of videos on this as I'm getting it kind of restored. It's got 215,000 miles on it. I'm not really sure when the oil was changed last. The oil doesn't look bad, but I want to just start off with a fresh oil change. So let's get into the parts that you're going to need for this. The oil we're using is this Pennzoil Platinum 0W20. It requires eight quarts. So I got 10 here. So we'll use all of one of these and then... Luckily, they're marked on the side. We'll just use three out of this one. And then an oil filter, PF63. This is just the GM version. We have a funnel, and we have an oil catch can, and then we have an oil waste jug we're going to use. So, so to get the, the drain bolt off, 15 millimeter socket or wrench. And then this is a just an oil filter wrench, This just to grab it. Uh, you can use this or a strap kind. So let's get underneath the, the, the truck, and I'll show you where the drain bolt is and the filter is. Okay, we're under the, under the truck here. Uh, this is about the middle, front middle. So the front's here, the rear's that way. Our drain bolt's here. Our oil filter's up here a little bit. That's why you need a little bit of an extension with a uh, oil filter tool, removal tool. So we're just going to loose break this loose. Again, 15 millimeter. Right, we're going to make sure I have a little uh, drop cloth underneath my oil pan just because it's inevitable that you make a spill some oil. Pan's lined up to the hole here. Yep, so I <laughs> got a little bit outside of the can. That's okay. I'm just going to fill this catch can, just an old jug. That way it'll save me from having to pour it in there later. Okay, it's been a few minutes. The oil's drained out. It's almost drained out. The nice thing is the drain plug's right next to the oil filter, so your, your oil pan can be right below both, and you can work on the oil filter the same time this is draining. So it helps to have a little extension on this. It's loose. We'll see how this is the this is the oil pan, this is the oil filter. They're draining almost right next to each other. So these are in really good, really good positions. Your oil pan can catch both of those. So I'm just gonna let that drain out. When it stops, I'll take the filter out all the way. So I want to just make sure I'm cleaning up the oil filter area. You want to make sure that that rubber gasket didn't stay up there. So it didn't. just want to clean that up of, the, of oil on the new filter here. So before I tighten up the oil filter, I'm just going to plug this drain plug up just so it's not going to drip on my arm. I'll tighten that up in a minute. So I have this hand tightened. I'm just going to give it a quarter turn here with the oil filter wrench just to make sure that it's on there. Got it. Now we got our oil filter tight. We're just going to tighten up our drain bolt. Make that nice and snug. If you need a kind of a larger funnel because this is on an angle, and so it's going to tip a little bit. So I'm going to have the wider part face like that, and then just pour. I'm just going to pour in our eight quarts. So I got my I have my first five quarts in. Since this has five quarts total, I want to have two left in this. So I just want to pour, just marking that on the jug so that way I can. Our oil level is just above the line, so we'll we'll leave it there for now. I'll start it up, check the oil, and then we can use the rest of this to slowly top it up if we need to over time. But that should get us close because we probably didn't get hundred percent of the oil out of it. So we got our just about eight quarts in. And just put our oil cap back on. It is nice to have the bigger funnel, so get a little bit bigger funnel, like this size or bigger. That's going to help reduce any spills. So one thing I do once I get done with my my uh, clean funnel, I keep it inside like a like a just a regular store bag, some kind of a bag. I just tie it up. I have another one. I have another funnel that I use for waste oil that I don't care is dirty, but this way it'll, it'll, this will stay clean. So next time I need to fill my truck up, I've got a clean funnel that's ready to be used. So before we close the hood down, I'm just going to change the air filter. This is the, uh, they still do, GM's still doing these Phillips head screws on here. Just kind of strange. But anyways, there's just four, let's see, yeah, just four screws. I've never even looked at this. I just, like I said, I got this truck. I don't know what condition the air filter's in, but I'm assuming it needs to be changed. I guess we'll just see. So you just have to maneuver the, the lid around this little support brace right here on the corner. Yeah, you can lift up the box cover and then 
filter actually looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to replace the air filter just because I got it out and might as well just start off with a new one here. I like to write on here 215.905, that's the current miles. 612.23. So that way we know what the mileage is we changed it at. And if you ever take it to a shop and they bring out some old dirty filter that doesn't have your writing on it, you know it's not yours. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just get my shop vac. I'm going to vacuum out the air box. So there's some dirt and debris down in the bottom of this. That way I don't want it going into the new filter. So just get your shop vac and vacuum that out. All right, we dropped the new one in. You can see the screw here. There's one on that corner. So on just on all four corners, there's a screw. See, I'm going to scroll down and reset the oil life. So all you do here is you just push the over button, it goes to reset. Are you sure you want to reset? Yes. All right, oil lights 100%. That's a pretty easy reset, We're just using the buttons and the check mark right there. Clean up the oil mess, dump this old oil into here, take these two jugs of the recycler and we'll be good to go. All right, so it's the next day, guys. Uh, final step of the oil changes, I wanna, I wanna check the, the oil level just to make sure that I'm within the range needed on the dipstick. I'm pretty sure I am just because nothing's leaked on the ground. I poured almost eight quarts in, so most likely the eight quarts is still there. But you wanna just drive the, the truck a little bit just to get the oil cycled through the engine, through the filter, and then let it sit for 30 minutes and then check the oil. So let me show you how to check that real quick. Next to the oil fill right here, this yellow circular handle is the dips there's the dipstick here you want to pull pull it out like this and then just wipe it off so that way you get any re residual oil off and then we want to make sure that the oil is going to be between the two dots there there's hash marks there one it wants to be between the two so let's put it back in and just see where it's at actually right up to that top right up to that top dot so that's that's completely full so we're good there put the dipstick back. One other thing I like to do after maybe a day or two is just crawl underneath the, the vehicle and check the oil plug and the oil filter to make sure there's no oil leaking down. If there is, I'll just tighten either of those up if needed. But that's pretty much the, uh, the oil change procedure. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, drain plug and the oil filter are really close to each other, so it makes it a real simple job. And, I, and then probably do this every 5,000 miles. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. See the links down below to the products used. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.